Now we have a partner in our fire department and the partner is the Agua Caliente Band of Cahuilla Indians and they have donated many things over the years to our fire department. And um, they've donated the, what I, like I talked about briefly that was at this fire station, uh, a squad or a vehicle that, that responds on grass fires, mountain fires. They've uh, bought a water tender, which also can carry water to those remote areas that don't have fire hydrants. We have an incident support vehicle that they donated, or part of that donation, um, which is for rehabilitation, air, lights um, on a fire scene. And, um, and uh, a number of other things they've donated. Um, most recently, they've donated um, for the past two years funding to help us build a training tower in the city of Palm Springs, which we don't have, and we're in the process of completing um, that work to get that in place. So we really appreciate that. Well, this year, um, we had a need because we hired some new firefighters. We have some self-contained breathing apparatus. So that's what the firefighters put on their back when they respond to a fire and go in those hazardous environments to keep them so that they aren't part of the problem, so that they don't succumb to the smoke, like, like maybe a, a, an occupant of that um, residence or structure that, um, that is on fire. So we had a need for that because of some older and because of the new firefighters that were hired and a new apparatus that's going to be put into service. So um, I applied for a grant with the, with the tribe and uh, were awarded that. So if Chairman Gruby and Vince, Council Member Vince could come up here. We would like to show you that. So this was a big donation. Um, it was seven of those self-contained breathing apparatus, and uh, the cost on it was $49,000. So um, that's a very generous um, donation. Thank you. Um, and, and it's part of, of being part of the community and, and enabling us to serve this community to the best of our abilities. During the recession and, and when things were going bad and, and we knew, because we've, we've been, had a great relationship with not only the cities, but the men and women that serve in police and fire, and, and they've kind of told us the budget cutbacks and, and we, knew, we knew the impact that that has and we thought of, you know, as we faced our own uh, cutbacks, we thought of a way, well, you know what, maybe, maybe we need to give, maybe there's stuff in the budget that they just couldn't get approved. And, and so we thought of this idea, maybe we should give money uh, to each of the police and fires of the cities that encompass the, the reservation to help offset some of those budget concerns and get something that, that, that they truly need that would uh, protect the men and women that serve this community and, and help them do their job in a more efficient way. And, and so we've been doing that throughout the years and throughout the years we've been able to raise it a little bit more. And so. Uh, it, we're proud to be here today to have the opportunity to give back to the community in this way and said I, I know you guys probably don't hear it enough um, but we thank you for everything that you guys do for our community